Hello, welcome to this episode of the Sycamore Junior High Daily Video Announcements. Happy Terrific Tuesday. Today is October 22nd. Hello, I'm Haley. And hello, I'm Robert. So we're Sycamore Junior High. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a problem solver. Thank you for doing the right thing and making good choices. Now it is time where we all stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. You all are terrific individuals. Keep being terrific and making this a great place to work. Be responsible and remember to check your emails. Now, over to a very important route change explained by Principal Shunk and Officer Rashid. Hey, Sycamore Junior High, Principal Shunk and Officer Kassam here. We want to share with you some changes that are going to occur starting next Monday. Um, the way you move around the building is going to be a little bit different because we have a new feature on our courtyard which allows us to electronically lock and unlock those doors. So right now there's three doors in the courtyard that you can move throughout um, the courtyard. So the one by the main gym, into the academic area, and then by the media center. And those doors are now only, starting on Monday, are only going to be unlocked during bell change. So every 45 minutes, they're gonna unlock for four minutes so that you can move about the building. But during the school day, or during your bell, I should say, like during class time, it is going to be locked. So that means that if you need to, during your class, get across the courtyard, you will not be able to do that. You're going to have to go around to the music area um, and down the athletic hallway to get across the courtyard. And this is a reminder that we're doing this to keep the building safer. Awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to put... Out a bunch of reminders this whole week. News crew is going to be doing a lot, but that's one big change that's going to happen next week on next Monday. So don't get locked in the courtyard next week. See you guys. Thanks, terrific leaders, and thanks for letting us know of the safety change. Students, make sure you don't get locked out in the courtyard during class time. Wait, why would you be in the courtyard during class time? That's strange. Shouldn't you be in class? Yes, you would think so. The only time you should be out of class is if you need to go to the restroom or for some other legitimate reason. Yeah, but I can't think of a reason to be out in the courtyard during class. Yes, being in class during class time would be the most safe and responsible thing to do. We wouldn't want to miss our awesome learning time. After all, it's not why we're here. Okay, it's clubs and activities announcement time. Boys basketball. All 7th and 8th grade boys interested in playing basketball should attend a meeting in the auxiliary gym tomorrow, Wednesday, October 23rd, during flex. All 7th and 8th grade boys and girls, tennis players, even those who do not play on the school team, should plan on attending a meeting in the auxiliary gym with Coach Teets. The, more, the meeting will be this Thursday, October 24th, during flex. Power of the Pen. There will be no Power of the Pen practice this Friday due to conferences and no school for students. Hey, have you seen the Lost and Found lately? If you are missing any belongings, please check the Lost and Found for your missing items and get them away from Bob. Bob, an evildoer, has an army. This army is very powerful if we don't stop it this week. So. How do we stop it, you ask? Let's start by the water bottles, otherwise known as Bob's Army. Stop these water bottles from taking over the school by collecting them and claiming yours as your own. We must stop it, so claim your lunchbox. Get rid of all the disguises they can use. Collect your shoes. How do you even walk around in the school? Just collect them. Come save your stuff and get it before Bob's army takes it over on Thursday. Back to our crew. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity at the end of the week. Now over to our other crew for more announcements. Is there anything new that we need to know for next week? Yes, did you know that all the exterior doors around the building will be closed during class time starting next week? No, I didn't know this. Thanks for letting me know this information. I now know not to go outside of the building during designated class time to avoid being locked out of the building. 
Also, did you know that it was uh, ADHD Awareness Month? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, remember to wear orange tomorrow for the support for ADHD people. We the people, we the people is an academic club for Sycamore Junior High school students which teaches the history and principles of the American constitutional democracy. While promoting students' understanding of the government, students learn about the importance and influence of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Club members will compete at 2025 Middle School, we, we the People, showcase in Columbus. There will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, November 5th, 7.15 a.m. in Junior High Room 2151. Club sponsors are Mr. Gutermuth and Mr. Brenner. If you have any questions. Now we have a special sports announcement from our Sycamore Sports crew. Hi, I'm Nathaniel. And hi, I'm Carter. And we're here for sports, cross country. Andrew Poor won state in cross country. Girls cross country team placed first in the state. <laughs> Ariana H won state. Cheer team. The cheer team got first place in their competition yesterday. <laughs> Thanks, crew. The 2025 SJH yearbook is on sale now. Purchase today for the lowest price of the year. The low cost is $32 a copy. This price will increase to $35 next week on October 31st. 2024. All junior high goals and goes. Get ready to show off your creative costumes this Halloween. That's next week. Here are the guidelines to keep it fun and safe. Costume rules. No weapons, no masks. Dress code applies. Keep it classy, everyone. And no disruptions. Costumes should let you sit, learn, and move without disrupting others. Remember, let's make this Halloween a hauntingly good time while respecting our school environment. Next, Next up, up, Students of the Week. Hey, Sycamore Junior High. I am here with our Students of the Week. We're so excited to celebrate them. This is Nazar. Nazar is very kind, responsible, and respectful, and he's a pleasure to have in class every day. So Mrs. Farrow wanted to congratulate and award you this honor. Nice job. You. This is Lucy, and Mrs. Gates says that Lucy works well with any group of students. She works hard, participates in class, it is always kind to her peers. So thank you for your kindness, Lucy. I love that. Annabelle um, comes in every day with a great attitude, does her best, is kind and respectful to peers. So Mr. Um, Foley recognized you, Annabelle. Congratulations. And Kylie, um, Mrs. George, Kylie says that you are a hard worker. You participate in class and you're willing to help your classmates and you are responsible and respectful. So nice job, Kylie. Guys, help me give a big round of applause. Thanks, Principal Shunk. And wow, congratulations to our students of the week. Way to work hard to represent our school. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Happy birthdays to students celebrating today, Liam G and Sydney M. Hope you all are happy, having a great time celebrating your special day. Joke of the day. Do you know how plants photosynthesize? Mm -hmm. I guess they have a light diet. <laughs> well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Make positive PBIS choices. Open your mind to new learning and meet a friend and... Go Waves!